Yo, what's up YouTube? I got this question from Jay Garcia. What does your diet consist of? I got this question on Instagram. Uh, I was thinking about just writing it back, but I said, no, nah, let me make a video of it. So what does my diet consist of? Right now, I have a diet that consists of 2000 calories. Whether or not I make that on an everyday basis is up for debate right now, but um, I track as much as I can, you know what I mean? We're all human being, whatever. I'm not gonna get into that side of it. I'm just gonna tell you what my baseline of my diet is. So 2000 calorie diet, hold on. Somebody's trying to call me, decline. All right, 2000 calorie diet, 45%, you might wanna write this down, so write this down. 45% carbs, which comes out to 218 grams of carbs. 20% fat, which comes out to 45 grams of fat, 35% protein, which comes out to 170 grams of protein. Um, also things that you want to monitor is your sodium intake. I try not to have more than 1500 milligrams of sodium per day. That one's pretty important. Um, because sodium will make you puffy, it will make you, it'll slow you down a lot. It's not going to, if you want your veins to pop out when you work out and, you know, have the good definition in your muscles, sodium is going to definitely prohibit that because it kind of retains water in your body and it's just not good for you. Bottom line, it's just too much sodium is not good for you and start looking on the back of labels when you eat shit how much sodium is in the shit that you're eating because you're going to be fucking surprised. And too much sodium also leads to heart attack, heart failure, cancer, all of the above. Um, also, sugar intake. Those two things I monitor. Um, 40 grams of sugar or less per day. The less sugar you have per day, the better off you'll be. And that sugar, ideally, you want it only from fruits and vegetables or honey or something like that not from high fructose high fructose corn syrup not from refined sugars um not from in your coffee every morning you don't need coffee you need you don't need sugar in your coffee you know what i mean if you eat a lot of sodium or eat a lot of sugar start slowly bringing it down start slowly bringing it down don't get so hard on yourself unless you want to get really hard on yourself and bring these levels down all the way go ahead and do so but it's better just to slowly kind of implement it um and then go at it but you know it might just work for you to go all in all in or all out i'm kind of i'm kind of an all in all out guy i'm a lot happier when i'm all in um also, this once I started eating 2,000 calories a day, that's the reason why I stopped drinking because I realized how many calories calories I was getting when I was drinking. Like a beer has something like 100 to 200 calories per beer, and um, if you drink 10 beers a night, that's your 2,000 calorie diet right there. So if you're fat and you don't know why you drink, it's probably because you're drinking beer. And uh, I'm not saying don't drink, do what you got to do to be happy, but if you want to be in shape and have your muscles be popping out, incorporate those calories from the beer into your diet and you'll at least be skinnier, at least with more limbo, or maybe just drink once or twice a week and don't, instead of having 10 beers, only have like two or three, you know what I mean? Be, look at that as your cheat day. Um, so yeah. Just bring more conscience to that as far as my diet. Um, I do drink a lot of water. Uh, let's see. I'd say at least a gallon a day. They said to drink half your, half your body weight. So your body weight divided by two and then equivalent that to ounces. I just say drink, drink water when you're thirsty and if you're hungry all the time, just drink more water. Um, it kind of becomes a problem if you have to take a piss all the time at work or something like that. But literally, just just drink more water if you're hungry. Like, what I mean by drinking more water if you're hungry, have 
have 16 ounces of water if you're hungry and you just ate that's one thing i could implement is that you can drink like 16 ounces right after you eat because say if you eat a 300 calorie meal and you're not used to eating 300 calorie meals you're used to eating 900 calorie meals or 600 calorie meals drink 16 ounces of water after you eat and then you will guarantee feel more full um and you'll realize you weren't really that hungry you were just dehydrated or you know water kind of takes up for some of that it's, it's going to take the edge off so um also kind of monitor where your water source is coming from it's good to have a water source that has minerals and electrolytes in it um that's something i'm working on currently like you know what i mean like it's all about transitioning into this awareness slowly or all the, all the way. If you can afford it, just go all the way in. Um, also, go as locally and organic as possible. The less amount of GMOs, the less amount of um, pesticides that you have in your system, the healthier you're going to be, the more energy you're going to have, um, the better your food's going to digest all of the above man um so cut out like literally go organic if you're in america um if you're in europe or canada they have more relaxed laws not relaxed they have more strict laws actually on their food so if you ever been to europe or canada and you realize your food was digesting more you had more energy you weren't putting on weight like you would in in um united states it's because they don't have all those gmos and those messed up products in their food that make you gain weight that make you bloated that make you um just obese like we do in america so that's the reason man you gotta you gotta meet, eat more like a european and um yeah if you're going for muscle gain 35 percent protein 20 percent fat and 45 percent carbs uh what else what else what else more water uh what else what else what else i don't drink soda or anything like that i don't because i try to stay under 40 grams of sugar or less per day so literally cut out anything from your diet that's like soda or any sugary thing that you're drinking don't don't do it just drink water um let's see what else Maybe create your own garden out back so you have fresh fruits and vegetables in your backyard. It's always a good thing to do. Walk your dog more. Get, if you don't have a dog, get one. You know, just be more active. That's what you got to do. Just be more active. Uh, just implement massive change in your lifestyle and you'll become closer to what you want to attain. Um, for now, man, that, that's it. That's all I can think of. I do drink a lot of coffee. I do drink a lot of um, uh, caffeine in general. And say if I have a Red Bull or something or a Monster, I make sure it's sugar free. I, I've heard mixed shit about it, uh, whether or not it's good for you. I'd, it's probably not the best thing for you, but as far as getting your 2000 calories in, you can get it in with drinking the sugar-free ones. And also the non-sugar-free ones have way too much sugar to even be fucking with. Uh, another trick I use is I chew a lot of gum. Um, that's how I quit cigarettes is literally I would buy the big bag of gum from Walmart. And every time I want a cigarette, I would just shove like five pieces in my mouth. And I think that's why I have these muscles right here. See that? Because that's... I chew gum all the fucking time because I used to smoke cigarettes and whenever I crave a cigarette or something like that, I'll be like, let me get a pack of gum. I'll literally chew like five sticks of gum. And also beware that gum has calories too, usually like five, five calories per stick or something like that, but that shit adds up. Um, but yeah, that's another trick I use. Um, let me see. That's pretty much it, man. And if you need help with this stuff, hire a coach, pay a coach to help you out with this stuff because then you'll feel more accountable to do this stuff. Like literally right now, I'm thinking about hiring a coach again because it's like you're, you're paying 
to get this shit done. You're paying somebody else to help monitor you. So it like holds you way more accountable. Um, and with that, that's it, man. I can't really think of anything else right now that you wouldn't know. Let me think real quick. Um, you could try Googling breathing exercises, but that'd be for another video. If, with that, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, hit the bell notification button. I'm coming straight from Chicago on my way to Minneapolis. So let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.